my name is Erin and today I want to talk to you about math. Now I know for most people that sends a fear of terror through their bodies, but for me I love math. I love math. I grew up with a mom who's a math teacher and a dad who's an engineer and I became a math teacher before having kids and my brother is an engineer. So our whole family just loves math, right? But I know that is not true for everybody. So I am excited because I found a math program that I am excited about that I think teaches kids how to understand numbers and actually understand math. And for that, I just want to share it with you because I'm so passionate about the subject because I know that there are many moms who struggle. So for example, when we first started homeschooling, I was asking around what programs homeschooling moms did for math. And a lot of them at the time were saying that they did sex and math. Now there's nothing inherently wrong with sex and math, but as a math teacher, when we were going through our education and what we were learning about math and how we wanted to teach math to students, none of us liked sex and math. We didn't like it at all. We didn't like how the curriculum was set up. We didn't like how there was these just enormous amounts of problems where the kid just kept going over and over and over the same problem and we felt like there wasn't anything to make the kid truly understand how numbers work together and at first I didn't say anything because I was like new to this homeschooling thing and I'm just like okay like I really wasn't sure but what I found out was that a lot of homeschooling moms like sex and math because it walked them simply through the process because they themselves didn't feel confident in math and they didn't they weren't sure what to do and so they felt confident in this program that could walk them through it so they wouldn't have to like feel stressed out about teaching their kid math I hope that makes sense so I I don't if you're using sex and math I, I don't want to tell you that you, you can't use it but I want you to know that there I believe that there are other ways to learn math and how numbers relate to each other a lot better and to feel confident in math and especially going forward in math. So a friend of mine told me about Right Start Math. And in fact, we did not start with this math program. We just kind of started with what my oldest had done in kindergarten at the public school. But we did that for her first grade year and her second grade year. But as we went into her third grade year, I saw it's a lot of worksheets. All she's doing is a lot of worksheets and it's boring. It's boring and she's not learning how numbers work together. She's not learning the relationship. She's not learning that math can be fun and that she can understand it. And so I had a friend who is not a math teacher, by the way. I want to let you know that because I do have friends who come to me and say, well, you're a math teacher, you understand it. No, this program can work for anybody even if you don't understand math. So my friend who told me about this program, she does not have a math background. And she told me about Right Start Math. And so I thought, you know what, I'm, I'm gonna give it a try. I'm gonna see what, what I think of it. So I went over and I looked at her curriculum and I was really excited about it. And honestly, what got me really excited about it was that my, so my eight year old, she's going into third, she was going into third grade this year. We jumped her into, and I'm gonna show you these things, level D. That's what was um, where she like tested into, if you will. So we did level D and at that point, I could see how it all came together. And that was amazing for me. As a mom and as a math teacher, I saw the things that they were doing with math and the numbers. I even learned things through this program that I had never learned before as a math teacher. And just the way that they broke down the numbers and the way that they described the relationship, I was like, man, this is pretty cool. So I really like that. But I wanna show you kind of where to start out. So. My youngest is in kindergarten this year, and she did level A. Now this I was gonna tell you is the first, the first edition, because that's what my, my friend had, so I used her first edition this year. And what I like about it for kindergartner, look, there is not many worksheets at all. I mean, I think for the whole year, there's like 20 worksheets. So I love that because it's all manipulative and game-based things that I'm doing with my daughter. So this is level A, this is what I would say for kindergarten. And this is the kid worksheet, or the kid workbook. And then here is the teacher book. Again, this is the first edition, so when you get this, you're gonna to wanna to get the second edition, because it's just updated. Looks a little cleaner inside, and more teacher, mom friendly, in my opinion. But what I love about this, is it starts the kids with an abacus. I never used an abacus. I didn't know how to use this when we got it, and I was a math teacher, okay? 
So I want you to understand it's not hard to use, but it really made me appreciate how they are teaching kids from the beginning. And what's really easy is, what I love is that every group of five is broken down into color codes. So they can help the kid easily recognize what a group of five looks like and easily count by fives. So every line is 10 and then there's 100 beads on the abacus. And they walk you through exactly how to use this. So it's not like you're looking at and going, what do I do? It's wonderful, it's a wonderful system and um, I wish I started my oldest with this system because I think it would have helped her with place value a lot better. So I'm excited to see my middle child go up through this program and understand place values better. So they start counting by like 110, 210, 310. So when you're counting with your kindergartner, it might seem a little different to you, not hard to understand, but teaching them this way will help them in the future understand place value and number relationships. Especially because who knows what 11 is, or 12, or all of the teens. It's just backwards, right? I mean, it's easy to say 22. 22 is two groups of 10 with two left over. That's this, 22. But this helps a kid break down the numbers, the relationships, and counting. This tool has been amazing. So when my third grader jumped into using the abacus, she used the other side. And again, they show you exactly how to do this in the book, okay? But she was able to now take three digit numbers. She took two three digit numbers, added them on the abacus, no paper, no pencil, and came up with an answer. I was blown away, but it helped her understand the relationship of how many groups of ones do you have to make 10? How many groups of 10 do you have to make 100? And this whole thing, I thought, I think is game changing especially because the kids get to do hands-on math. So I want to tell you that the other thing they have, they have tons of resources. And again, I will do more videos to explain more of this, but this is going to be a general overview. Place value cards, which is critical and I think super important to helping kids understand one, tens, hundreds, thousands. And this has been really important. They also, again, level D, we started doing fractions and they have fraction charts to help break down the fractions again. And then they have one of these that you like print off and that you cut up and then the kid puts together. So this is the second edition level D again. This is what my third grader did this year. And this is the kids worksheet. So she does have more worksheets, but not a ton. Like she's doing maybe a worksheet a day and that's it. Okay, there are review, there's no standard like tests in these books. There was nothing for my kindergartner. In these books, she has a review worksheet, I don't know, every, I don't even know how often, not a ton, but she does have review, but there are no official tests, which I'm okay with, because as long as she does the review worksheet or what they call the assessment worksheet, then I'm good, right? She doesn't need to technically be graded, in my opinion. If there's a concept she didn't understand, then we just go back and re-review it, no big deal. But I love the lesson length. So for my kindergartner, the lessons take no more than a half an hour. For my third grader, so for my third grader, this is the teacher's edition book. And this is a second edition, like I said, much user friend, much more user friendly for the parent. They tell you right at the top what kind of materials you're gonna need. And then you just walk through this activity and then on this side. And they give you the answers if there's a worksheet that goes with it that day. This may take us 30 to 45 minutes. And then there's usually a game. This is the best part about this program, in my opinion. I was a math teacher. I think sometimes being a teacher makes it a little more difficult for me to be relaxed with my kids when I'm homeschooling because I am ingrained with the thought of, you have to get through a certain amount of material, you have to do a certain amount of worksheets, you have to, you know, go through the book in a, a specific order. And I think that hinders me sometimes. So what I loved is they have this math games book. And what it said in the beginning, because they give you all these things, they tell you things about math. So read the beginning couple pages, because I think you will benefit from it. And it said in there, a 20 minute game is like doing a worksheet. That was like a huge aha moment for me. A 20 minute game is like doing a math worksheet. I'm like, 
Well, shoot, we might as well just play games. Who wants to do a worksheet, right? And that's exactly how my daughters feel. In here is tons of games. And it comes with all the materials that you need for the games as well. But my girls love the games. And I will be doing more videos on the games, but these games have been game changing, <laughs> pardon my pun, but for us learning math. Because now in the summer, we can play these games and they don't mind playing the games. How easy is it to review this than to say, hey kids, we're gonna do a worksheet today. No, nobody wants to do that. But when I told the girls, hey, we're gonna do math games throughout the summer, they're like, okay, no big deal. Because they like doing them. And of course they have favorites, but it covers every topic. It covers number sense, fractions, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction, money, and clocks. It covers everything. They do a wonderful, wonderful job of putting this all together. And like I said, I will be doing more videos as it goes for specifics on each level, what they cover, and I will be doing videos on some of the games that we play that our girls like that are their favorites. So I hope this video helped give you a general overview of what Right Start Math is all about and why I'm so passionate about it. And make sure you check out in the description will be a link for you to go to Right Start Math and to see what programs or what levels they have, what resources they have, what manipulatives, all of that is on their website. And they also have a placement test. So if you need to figure out what level your child would be at, you can go there. They also have algebra and geometry, which I'm super excited about. So make sure you check out the link in the description. If you have any questions about maybe what level your kids should be at, or if you wanna ask me about certain resources, please just send me an email and I would be happy to help you. You guys have a great day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.